What's going on miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today in this video, you're not going to learn much. It's going to be a point and shoot, just fun kind of video. I am going to be redesigning this rig into another frame that has some RGB lights because we're having a Christmas party today and this is boring as hell. Not going to lie. And then on top of it, it hangs over the fridge. Super aggravating. I think the uh, the sluice frame from AAA Wave or GPURisers.com will actually fit right on this fridge perfect and it actually stacks six cards and six cards. So I'm going to redesign this rig today because as you guys know, this rig and I actually have my X8 Ultra Plus in my kid's playroom, which is also my garage. You can see right here we have ugh, this guy. X8 Ultra Plus up and mining Carlson hash over to Unminable to get payouts in Caspa just because I think that's the most profitable way to do it. And this garage, oh my gross, it's 77 degrees in here. I might have to kill that rig under the stairs. But nonetheless, we're going to shut this one down. I'm going to get into Hive OS and want to close it down and we're going to go swap this into a white sluice frame. Let me show you guys which one I'm talking about. All right, getting into my basement. This rig right here is the one I'm thinking about. This has RGB lights, kind of look Christmassy for the kids, right? Obviously, I don't want them touching the VETA frame. I think this one will make the cards a lot less easier to touch. And yeah, I mean, again, RGB. Who doesn't like RGB lights? So I think it's a cool uh, talking point for people, too, to ask me questions. I do still have the KS Zeros up and running, but I did notice, actually, if anybody was wondering, the Hive OS uh, hub, actually, for these units, they continuously fall offline. So even though they're still up in mining, Hive OS is kind of having a glitch with those. I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. But anyways, let's get this thing up into my garage and let's go swap it out. All right, we made it and this looks terrifying. Yes, I just did this for size comparison. I wanted to see how much uh, better this one was gonna be on top of the fridge, as you can see. It's like a little bit shorter on both sides, which is awesome. It's actually the perfect size to fit right on top of the fridge there. So super excited about that. And the only other thing that stinks is probably keeping the fans in the back. It's not like you're not gonna see the RGBs, but these are blower style cards. So the wind goes in here and gets thrown out the face of it. So because of that, I need to have these facing this way and not have the fans on the face of the actual rigs. Let's get this thing shut off, get things swapped out actually. I'm just gonna put this rig down onto the freezer. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna work right here on top of the freezer. I'm sure my wife's gonna be excited about that, but at least it's not on my counter, right? Could be worse. So this is what I was talking about. Look at all my KS zeros, they're all offline. Super aggravating. Anyways, I've got to stop this miner here. Where are we at? Miner actions, stop miner. All right, command sent. Now you guys are gonna see all these cards in here in three, two, one. And there we have it. They're all in place. Now, this actually looks so much better. And I actually do like the fact that they're not slammed close together. And, you know, six and six is way easier. But I totally forgot how easy it was to move these GPUs compared to like a full size GPU. Just look how tiny this thing is on the actual frame. There's so much room behind the cards. It's just crazy. Um, but again, I do have, you guys didn't know, I did mod these ones right here. There's five cards with the copper shims in them that actually did help when it was Ethereum mining on the cooling side. But right now they're all pretty much the same exact temperature when I run these things, regardless of the copper shims or not. Um, it just does help on the memory side if you guys are mining a really high intensive memory algo. So keep that in mind. All right, hard part now. I gotta move that motherboard, server PSU, everything in here, and I'm not gonna drag you along for the ride on that one because it's boring as hell. Look at this, 12 cards look absolutely fantastic. Super pumped I actually did this. I know the fans are gonna take a few extra watts, but you know what, again, Christmas time, gotta get some RGB going. I could always unplug these at a later date, but I do need to do some cable managing. That's the only thing that's really hard about this frame is actually managing the cables, but as long as nothing's hitting the fans, I actually gotta cut this one zip tie right there, and then uh, we should be good, but this actually just gave me some motivation to go get my RTX A4000 that's actually outside of my server, because I do have, if you guys know, the BTC H110 motherboards actually have 13 slots so I could get my again a4000 on here with my a2000 so I'm totally gonna go do that right now but first let's plug this in and make sure it all works quick little trick with this uh, server PSU by the way this screw if you take out the bottom corner as you can see it's got four screws in the fan right there take out the bottom corner you can mount it right to this frame and that's another thing I love about these AAA waves all right plugged in 
She's on. Let's see. Hell yeah. All right, that's all working. Why aren't my fans working? I got them plugged in right there. Oh, duh. Huh. Forgot the H110 has a power button on it. There we go. Hell yeah. Look at how nice those fans are. Definitely pumped about that. The kids are going to love looking at this one. Everything's on, it looks like. All the risers are on. All the RTX A2000 fans are spinning, even on the bottom row. I know you guys can't really see it that well, but... Wow, this looks fantastic. All right, I need to go get my A4000, and we're gonna make sure these are all registering in Hive. We have a problem. I don't know why this will not connect to Wi-Fi. It's not picking up. I've restarted like three times, and I just changed the dongle to make sure it wasn't that. So there's usually a green light that blinks on this thing, and I don't know why it didn't work. So we're gonna plug this in and see if it blinks on the board that way. So that's working. I'm not sure why the Wi-Fi wasn't working, but now I need to make sure it actually registers here. No dice in Hive OS, so that means that there is an issue with probably these guys. These are always the culprit when it comes to swapping motherboards, moving shit. That's why I electrical tape them, as you guys can see. This actually, uh, the points sometimes will poke through the electrical tape and hit one of the other riser USBs and then basically just shut all the shit down. So it's either that or sometimes the uh, metal on the bottom of the riser will actually touch the frame itself. But these are padded in like every spot. You can see the whole rail there actually has a foam pad and then there's a foam pad on the riser. So I know it's not that, but I am gonna unplug everything, replug in all the USBs and try to get this thing to register. All right, as you can see, I ripped apart everything again because this thing is not registering. I reflashed an M.2 to get this thing to register, didn't register. I unplugged everything, didn't register. I don't know what the F is going on. Three hours later. All right, we got her working and up in place. Now, not gonna lie to you guys, I had this plugged in, as you guys may have saw, the Molex, right? And it was going to the Molex on the board. Some of the boards that aren't BIOS updated need these plugged in, okay? When I plugged the fan hub into the middle of that, I broke my RGBs. It stopped working and I must have messed up the board or something. I don't understand how because it's a direct pass through, but it might have actually backfed the LEDs and screwed them up. So there goes my plan on having Nice colorful lights, but at least I got some kind of red and green. Sucks, because these were like the best fans ever, but whatever. All right, let's go get my RTX A4000. Let's get this thing thrown on here and get this thing up and mining. I think I'm just going to unplug the fans, to be honest. Regardless, this rig looks fantastic without them. All right, we got the RTX A4000 to go with the A2000s. Now that everything is up and working, all right, so we're just going to stick a riser on it and slap this guy literally right here. I think that's just a perfect spot for it, and the light obviously is getting crazy right now, so let me get this on, and we'll fire it up. Quick trick with these tabs, if you have a new riser, just put it flat either against the concrete or the frame and just push to bend the tabs over. But be careful, you might mark up your frame a little bit as you can see I did right there. But they are flat and they should not puncture the electrical tape on that guy back there. There we go, RTX A4000. Got my 12 A2000s, 13 card mining rig. Let's see how she works. Four thousands on, good, good. Let's power this one up. All right, everything's up and registering in Hive OS. I'm gonna have to mess around with this one because I have an error right there with LOL Miner. I'm not really sure what that's about. I'm gonna have to look into it, but guys, unfortunately, I don't have time to sit here and mess with this. Hopefully, you guys have a good day. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a good one. Merry Christmas.